Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general uh, love reading for the zodiac sign of Gemini. Uh, this is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for August 2021. Is it a good idea to reach out? So these are the Gemini individuals that are currently dealing with someone that are that they are in no contact with. So uh, this is love focus, but you could apply this to your own unique situation with a friend, a family member, a co-worker. Also feel free to switch the roles if you want. Um, yeah, this could be your person that is, um, you know, thinking about reaching out and, you know, trying to figure out if it's a good idea or uh, both of you could be mutually feeling that way. Uh, so yeah, so before we get started, if you guys haven't done so yet, um, uh, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get alerts on new content that, that's being uploaded onto my channel. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that needs to uh, hear this uh, and leave a comment down in the comment section below. Uh, if this message resonated with you. Those of you that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. All right, Gemini, so let's get started. Uh, tell me about the person that Gemini is dealing with here. Is it a good idea for Gemini to reach out to um, this person that they are in no contact with? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign for August 2021 for Gemini. All right, the Moon, Cancer, Pisces, Energy, Nine of Wands. I don't know what those are. Hold on. All right, I'll pull the last two. Uh, the Moon, Cancer, Pisces, Energy, Nine of Wands. Okay, the Ace of Swords and the Ten of Wands here. Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy, and the Queen of Swords. So there you are right there, um, Gemini. Could be dealing with another Gemini or another air sign, Aquarius, um, Libra Energy. Perhaps you have some Earth in your chart. Same goes for the person that you're dealing with here. Um, but I feel like someone here is tired of keeping something to themselves and it's starting to become a burden. I feel like someone here is ready to release all this burden here by basically wanting to talk. Someone here wants to talk. So we have that seven of cups on the bottom of the deck. So I'm feeling like at some point here, someone here kept you here as an option. Uh, this, per this person could be spying on you. At some point, this person could have been talking to a bunch of people online, perhaps on dating sites, which we, which you were not aware of. Um, feels like this person's missing you. This person is looking for your forgive for looking for your forgiveness. Um, this person wants you to come back, or this pe person wants to come back to you. Why is this moon card here? Why is this moon card here? showing up again. Um, I'm feeling like someone here is sick of holding in a secret. Like I said, someone could have been in... You might have been dealing with someone that has never expressed their deepest emotions towards you, and I feel like they want to do that now because I feel like it's become too much. 
too much weight for them to carry and they're fi they're they're trying to release it i mean we have this ten of wands upside down here uh, in the reverse uh why is this nine of wands here all right we have the higher fit taurus energy could be dealing with the taurus here um gemini why is this ace of swords here Ace of Swords and the Six of Cups. I mean, someone here definitely wants to have a conversation here with the past person. You could have had a history with this person, um, but I do feel like you guys are separated. You guys are definitely not talking. Why is this Ten of Wands in the reverse here? We have the Ace of Wands. Why is this that uh, Page of Pentacles here? We have the Two of Wands. Why is this Queen of Swords here? We have the Moon. Cancer, Pisces, Energy. We have the Moon showing up again. So I'm feeling like someone here kept some secrets here from you. And I feel like someone here has been waiting for an apology with the Two of Wands and the uh, Page of Pentacles here. There's this energy of purging, releasing, and just wanting this new beginning here. Someone here could have done the work or is doing the work to heal their traumas with this Hierophant here. Someone could be speaking to a therapist. Someone could be speaking to an energy worker, a healer. I mean, someone here is definitely wanting a reunion and a new beginning here. Uh, the problem is I feel like this person's hard to trust. You might not trust this person. I feel like this person doesn't trust themselves. I feel like this person doesn't trust themselves. I feel like this person doubts themselves a lot. Doubts their abilities and capabilities. Either this, this could be you, uh, Gemini, or the person that you're dealing with. Like I said, you could feel free to switch the roles if you want. Uh, and place yourself where you see fit, but it just seems like someone here doubts their abilities. Maybe someone here doesn't feel like they're on the same level as you, and they feel like this person seeks other options uh, in order to make them feel good, because you might be on this, like, maybe high, on this higher vibration. Uh, maybe you're more evolved than this person that you're dealing with here, that you're in no contact with. Um, all right, what will happen if Gemini reached out to this person? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for August 2021. What will happen if Gemini reached out to this person? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for August 2021. in the reverse knight of pentacles in the reverse and the page of wands so okay we have this one first seven of swords okay four of swords nine of pentacles the uh wheel of fortune in the reverse so someone here is unable to move on Someone wants to release their burdens, but is having a hard time doing it. The Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy, and the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. We have the Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck here. So I'm feeling like someone here only want, wants one person. Yeah, they no longer want the options. Someone here has seen someone as their wish fulfillment. Someone here wants to speak their truth. Someone here is coming back around, coming back around to save this connection. This could be a karmic twin flame connection, doesn't have to be, but you guys have, definitely have some sort of strong soul tie, perhaps a so strong soul contract. Uh, maybe you guys still have something to learn from each other. The lesson hasn't been learned yet. Either you guys learn the lesson together or learn the lesson apart. All right, why is the Seven of Swords here? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Why is the Seven of Swords here? 
Seven of Swords here. Swords here. Seven of Swords and the Fool. So tell me about the Four of Swords. Six of Pentacles. Why is this Nine of Pentacles here? Virgo energy, pre Empress energy here. The Ace of Wands. Why is this Wheel of Fortune? So either both of you have trouble moving on or one of you have trouble moving on here. But I feel like someone here is definitely having trouble. We have the, um, we have the um, hangman here. Someone is having a hard time releasing this or releasing their burdens. These burdens could have been the catalyst of what caused the ending to this connection because perhaps these burdens, perhaps these traumas were projected onto someone else. It seems like someone here was just not really open about sharing their traumas with, the, uh, with someone, but I feel like we have someone here that's working on it. Why is this Knight of Pentacles in the reverse? Five of Wands. You see, <sighs> I'm feeling like someone here is very, very lazy, not wanting to do the work. Someone here is conflicted. Someone here doesn't want to fight for this. I I'm getting this really lazy energy that someone here does not want to do this. It's like really, really hard for them. Really hard for them to talk about their traumas, really hard for them to talk about their deepest, darkest uh, secrets, emotions. Um, someone's having a hard time with this. If this person is in fact talking to a therapist, there's no progress because I feel like this person is still covering up some stuff, not being completely honest and transparent. The thing when you're in a space like this, you cannot omit anything because the therapist is going to catch it and there's no possible way that the therapist will be able to help you. Why is this a page of pentacles here? No, that's a page of wands. Hold on, page of wands. Page of wands and the death card, Scorpio energy. We have the knight of cups. Knight of cups and the seven of swords. I feel like the issue is what you caught, what you saw here, um, uh, Gemini, is that this person keeps lying to themselves and lying to others. And I feel like you've had it with this person. Um, you know, I do feel like this person wants you very badly. This person sees you as wish, wish fulfillment. You also could see this person as wish fulfillment too, even though this person is like going through all this. Uh, but I, I feel like there is this uh, energy of feeling love and compassion towards this person. Because I feel like this person that you've been dealing with has been through a lot in life. And they're just having a, really a hard time uh, getting rid of this stuff that they're carrying. So Gemini, I mean, uh, this could be you too. Maybe you're mirroring each other. Maybe both of you have the same trauma, but you, maybe you were able to transcend it or not. So like I said, just apply this to your own unique situation. The worlds could be flipped or reversed. Uh, Gemini, if this resonated, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. Share this video with someone. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Ring the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.